Ulysses was the name of a Greek hero who had performed many wonderful and great acts of bravery during his youth. He was also the king of the island of Ithaca. During his youth, he had many adventures. He had been through battles and wars and had been through many tragedies and difficulties in his lifetime. After his adventurous life, he went back home to his wife and his son on the island of Ithaca. Ulysses was also known as Odysseus in the stories told by Homer. Odysseus is O-D-Y-S-S-E-U-S. Ithaca was an island at the entrance of the Gulf of Corinth, C-O-R-I-N-T-H. Ulysses was one of the wisest and most capable of Greek leaders in the War of Troy. Ulysses had been through wars, difficulties, bitter struggles and had returned after 20 years to his home. His wife, Penelope, had patiently waited for him with their son, Telemachus. This poem, Ulysses, was composed by Lord Tennyson in October 1833. In the wake of the tragedy he faced because of the death of his close friend, Arthur Hallam, who was also engaged to Tennyson's sister, Emily. Although the poet put himself and his feelings into Ulysses in a large measure, the readers did need not be aware of it to enjoy it. The poem is in the form of a monologue. The speaker is Ulysses, the great Greek warrior. He expresses dissatisfaction with his idle life in Ithaca. When the poem began, Ulysses was no longer a young man. He had become an old man on the island of Ithaca. His wife, Penelope, was also as old as himself. He had been for some years on this island and had involved himself with ruling the people there on the island of Ithaca. As I told you before, the poem is in the form of a monologue. Here we will see the thoughts and feelings of Ulysses as an old king on the island of Ithaca.